hey, 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 hey. hey. Hey, 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 that was really distracted. Hey, hey, welcome back, everybody, to Bad Film Good, the podcast where we look at poorly rated movies and we ask the question, is this Bad Film Good? Is this Bad Film Good? Oh, God, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, 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 if I was going to do that bit. You should put, like, a voice mod changer thing. I was thinking about, one yeah, I was thinking on, about on just it. just the whole episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh god yeah that would and be you'll find out too. why because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. my name is Declan and I'm Aiden I'm alien <laughs> for fuck's sake <laughs> he's alien and today we're looking at Alvin and the Chipmunks <laughs> which is why we're saying we should put like a high pitched voice thing over it because that would be hilarious and not at all annoying yeah. wouldn't yeah. it put us at like put us at like one point like 1.2 speed or something <laughs> and then like the high pitch thing so i'm like welcome back, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> awful oh, good, awful good. but before we get into this whirlwind of high pitched auto tune lovely nonsense uh tell us aiden what is shrekking this week uh, 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 well uh no um well oh, this no. is a skip it up Oh yeah, sorry, I'm just getting into the next to, section. Yeah, Carry on. <laughs> well, this is a um, what, <laughs> I forgot the word for it. An article. This is an article. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was like Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Shrek from Shrek. Um, this is an article from Thrillist, <laughs> and the title is: Is Shrek actually a libertarian? <laughs> so I want to know. So this is a this is an, a deep analysis into whether uh, like the politics of Shrek um, says for some reason exploring the politics of Shrek might sound as appealing as bathing in the gloopy mud in Shrek Swab. Still fantasy stories. I mean that's pretty yeah, appealing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. If Shrek's there, I'm down. Still yeah. fantasy stories have often served as fodder for this type of analysis and close reading, with academics publishing books on the politics of Harry Potter no. and papers on the politics of B the Buffyverse. Like, really? Oh, my God. <laughs> well, I mean, okay, politics of Harry Potter and stuff, I could see because it's such a massive, influential thing. Like, I don't know. I could see people doing it. I thought you were going to say politics of Shrek. <laughs> like, <laughs> books and books on it. Considering, like, Harry Potter takes itself very seriously compared to... Yeah, yeah well, well, it's funny you mentioned that. The, because... Um, in a video offering a Marxist oh, no. reading of the film, a soft-spoken narrator <laughs> explains how Shrek is a personification of every negative stereotype associated with prolarity. I don't know what that means, but... Uh, donkey represents the revolution. <laughs> We're politically ignorant. <laughs> it donkey represents what, the sorry? The revolutionary. <laughs> For freedom! He's like, donkey! <laughs> <laughs> and Princess Fiona serves as a stand-in uh, for the liberal reforms of the, you know, that era. Jesus. Yeah, fucking some bullshit. Like, come on. Really? They literally made a film <laughs> about an ogre who fucks a princess and a donkey that fucks a dragon and... A, 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 a small man called Lord Farquaad, who was he get eaten by the dragon in the end or something? Like, it's it. it oh, c come on. Is it like, but perhaps the strangest and most fat fascinating area of Shrek study, fattest, the fattest area of Shrek study, <laughs> relates to the framing of the character <laughs> as a libertarian folk hero, and the movie itself as a a, a treaty on private property. <laughs> One of the best lines. I mean, in the they movie. do start with you know, scam <laughs> swap. Yeah, literally, it's like one of the best lines of the movie sums up the issue. What are you doing at my swap? To praise the ideological implications of Shrek, we dug a little deeper into the implications. Oh of the movie. no! <laughs> Just fuck, fuck off. <laughs> why? <laughs> like why? <laughs> It, oh, I mean, it imagine goes on. devoting so much time to looking into this and then people being like, ha ha, green man make fart bubbles in swamp. Yeah, literally. Like, it, wait, what are you talking about? It's like, it. this reminded me of, <laughs> um, you know when you used to do English 
and then they, you'd read a poem, yeah, and it'd be like, uh, he stares at the blue wall, and then your teacher's like, it's blue because he's sad, and blue's a color for for the representation. And then you ask the poet, and they're like, no, I like the color blue. I'm writing about my room. Yeah, it's when it kind blue. of it's when, yeah when things can really be like overanalyzed. Yeah, and stuff. it just reminds me of bits like. There, there's no political stance. Well, I say that, uh, we'll get to it. That, uh, that I say that there's no <laughs> political stance from Shrek. There's no like fucking. There's no deeper meaning. But then, <laughs> um, <laughs> but then you spoke to Shrek himself. But, but then, yeah. But then I interviewed him, and he said, "Well, the 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 article says that in 2016, TV DreamWorks produced a series of short cent- short centered around a presidential election in the lands of far, far away, including one where Shrek and oh Don- my God. Donkey Im- imitate pundits and discuss the race on a show titled Swamp Talk, and <laughs> one of the." <laughs> one of the things was like Shrek going Shrek Shrek shows an anti-government stance by uh, decree decreeing um is that the word decreeing Prince Charming's platform yeah, yeah. which includes elf insurance he wants everyone to pay for uh, elf insurance and Shrek's like what? I'm not an elf why should I waste my money on elf insurance it's just like wow. <laughs> Brilliant. Very good. Well, They're just well parodying yeah, it. Like, like, yeah. You're like, oh, elf insurance. They were like, it's confirmed. <laughs> he is a libertarian. Because, you know, did you, <laughs> now you might have missed that, but that's actually a deep analogy for health insurance. And Shrek seems to be opposed to health insurance as um he doesn't think he needs it. Whereas other people like the elves do need it. I was like, shut up. This is dumb. Yeah, they're like the the writers <laughs> of of Shrek and the producers were like, how do we really express our own political <laughs> yeah, opinions? Yeah. Let's make a movie about a green ogre <laughs> and let's get real deep with it. But nobody will notice until they do a deep dive analysis yeah, on yeah. it, like twenty yeah, years on. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> but it's just like it's perfect. I just read the the title for the article and I was like, are you fucking? Are you fucking kidding me? Like, this now? Really? <laughs> We're doing this? Okay. I think we get a good range of uh, interesting Shrek uh, Shrekings. <laughs> yeah. Per- week to week, you know. We have Shrek porn, then we have <laughs> politics in Shrek. And then <laughs> next one, week, the two are range. coming together. We're talking about the, po- the yeah. <laughs> politics of Shrek porn. <laughs> <laughs> you better get that elf insurance. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Uh, but but yeah, that's what's uh, shrugging in the news this week. Shall we get to uh, the first perfect. of a two-part episode? Yeah, the first of a two-part... See, now this is where I got confused, because uh, even though it was very clearly stated, even at the end of the last episode, I for some reason thought we were doing Alvin and the Chipmunks 1 and 2 in this episode. So I prepped two films, <laughs> two like films worth of notes... And then I was talking to Aiden, and he was like, "No, we're just doing, we're just doing the first one for this episode, and then we're doing the next one next week." And I was like, "I watched both of them. <laughs> back to back, back to back." I wish I told <laughs> literally you as soon as four. the credits hit, I was like hitting back on the on the controller because I was watching my like on my TV. I was like, "Boom, let up the next one, let's start it, <laughs> just in the same in the same document. Let's just go. Like I'm trying to get these notes done. Yeah, let's do it." <laughs> Imagine I if I was like, to. "Yeah, we're gonna do, um, we're gonna do all four Alvin and the Chipmunks films in one episode. So <laughs> oh, make sure you make your notes. Then we come to it. I'm just like, episode. I didn't say that. No, we're doing, we're doing one each. <laughs> <laughs> we're only, you were only doing the first five minutes of the first one. <laughs> yeah. We're doing a deep dive analysis on uh, the politics of Alvin and the Chipmunks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're like, I watched eight hours. Which one of the Chipmunks is a libertarian? <laughs> I watched the bonus features. I've watched everything. Oh no! <laughs> I watched the the Netflix the featurettes series. of the making yeah. ofs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The deep dive, like behind the scenes documentary Netflix series. <laughs> yeah, the like Alvin was really difficult to work with. Yeah. Uh, but look, should we get into <laughs> it? Oh man, 
Yeah, we'll we'll get, we'll get to this. We saw this on uh, on Amazon Prime, I believe. Yes, uh, I saw both of them <laughs> on Amazon Prime. Uh, but um, yeah, which which describes it as being uh, based on the 1980s cartoon series about a music group of chipmunks comprised of mischievous group leader Alvin, tall and quiet Simon, and chubby, impressionable. And that's where it ends. I didn't get to read the last bit, but I'm assuming that it says um, Theodore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming there's no more, but Prime just does that. It cuts it off. I can't read the rest, so that's what you get. <laughs> no, that's all they wrote. Impressionable. Yeah, that's all they what's wrote, his yeah. name? Oh, fuck it. Just leave and it. Chubby Impressionable. <laughs> no, like the name of the chipmunk is Impressionable. <laughs> and so they're saying Tall and Quiet Simon and Chubby Impressionable. <laughs> yeah, the three. You know, Alvin, the th- Simon and Impressionable. Yeah, the, you know, those three famous chipmunks Alvin, Simon, and Impressionable. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alvin, impressionable and self-explanatory name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, good. oh, give us some, give us some facts about this film that everybody knows about. <laughs> yeah, well, if you don't, everybody's yeah, childhood. For, for, for whatever reason, if you haven't seen this film, let me go through the plot. Criminal. Yeah, exactly. Come on. But uh, one day, three little chipmunks were sitting in a tree. Uh, one was called Alvin, one was called the blue one, and the other was called the green one. They live in a little tree. I you say impressionable. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the other one is called impressionable. <laughs> they, li- carry, carry on. they live in a little tree. Uh, but then it gets cut down and they all die. Anyway, my name is Earl goes to talk to Tobias from Arrested Development uh, about a song that he's written... But then he plays a song and it turns out to be really shit. L goes, L? L? Earl? L? Oh my god, <laughs> I, I'm broken. Earl? 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 L goes. Earl. Yeah. <laughs> Have you said it too many I've times said it now, too so many it just times. sounds weird to you. It's just like. So that's like, just imagine you're, um, imagine you're Sylvester Stallone. It's like, Earl. <laughs> 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 Ooh. Then goes home and denounces music, uh, but then those three little chipmunks come back to life and are in his garbage can. They try to murder him with a glass jar, uh, but instead they give him permanent <laughs> yeah. brain damage, where he thinks he can talk to wild animals. In brackets, I put he's basically Doctor Doolittle. They live together for some reason, but more shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> only one type of animal, specifically three. Of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he meets another Doctor Do Less. <laughs> Doctor Do Less. For fuck's sake! <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> I don't think I can. Um, well, they live together for some reason, um, and it's really bad and shit because he's literally living with three wild animals. Um, but then they sing a little song and then um, they get signed by Tobias from Arrested Development's music label or something. <laughs> um, uh, then they have Christmas, but Uncle Tobias Fumke tries to steal them away with presents. Then they they have an argument or something. Uh, it's quite vague. Uh, and then Earl is like, get out of here. And then the chipmunks are like, all right. And then they go live with uh, Tobias. But then um, he works them too hard and they don't like it. So what they do is have a revolt. They then run away and they live with my name is Earl. And then he bangs his neighbor. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the end. Until the next one, which you watched, but I haven't yet. <laughs> oh my God. So a uh, few facts. It was made in 2007, uh, directed by Tim Hill. It stars Jason Lee, David Cross, Steve Buscemi and Justin Long. Uh, it had a budget of sixty million, and it made just over three hundred and sixty-five million oh my God. US you know dollars. I knew you were gonna. I was. I was trying to because you were building that up. I was thinking he's gonna say three hundred and something. That's insane. That is. I mean, I knew. I remember it being big. Yeah. But like. Yeah. When when I saw that first, I was like, "Are you fucking kidding me? This film made like over three dollars." But then I remember at the time, it was like the biggest thing. Everyone was like... It was everywhere. Everyone fucking loved it. I think I, I'm... 
Look, not going to lie, when I was younger, I had the album. Yeah, I feel like I did. They released yeah. an album and I had the album. I remember asking for it for, from my auntie <laughs> and she literally said to me, you will regret this. And I was like, I want that. I want that album. And uh, I kind of half do regret it. Maybe. <laughs> do you still I have stopped, it? I stopped liking it. Like, qu- No, I don't, I don't think so. Yes, I do. No, I don't. It's framed. Maybe it's I do. It's framed and signed. <laughs> no, no, it's... <laughs> It's framed, signed, and I, I kiss it at night before I go to bed every every evening. <laughs> no, it's it's probably um like all my albums that I didn't any albums that I didn't take with me when I moved out, uh they're probably still home somewhere like oh, in a box. Yes. So, oh you got it. I suppose technically I still yeah, have it. Oh dude, if you if you still have it, you gotta dig it out and show me. Because I'm very excited about that. Yeah, yeah, um, definitely. But yeah, it got 5.2 out of 10 on IMDb, 28% on Rotten Tomatoes, and only 39 Metal Crickets liked it. 39, though. That, actually, 39. This is, well, this is definitely not the worst uh, film that we've rated, but... No, nah, but five, Like, 5.2 is quite low, but 28% and 39 on uh, Metal Cricket is... Isn't that bad for a but low score? Isn't too low. Yeah, yeah. It, it was like <laughs> I I expected worse, um, but I, I mean, mm. spoilers. The the all of the other films are way worse than this, like ratings wise. Yeah, and, they and clearly can... like capitalized on it, tried <laughs> yeah, to make yeah. a big bank. All the, all the Ians of the industry, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ian being the name of the greedy guy yeah. that we'll get into. <laughs> Tobias, for those of you that have watched Arrested Development. Um, but yeah, look, I, I'm I'm Tobias Fume K, and I've got sixty million. I want you to to pitch me a little movie with little chipmunks and make me a little bit of money. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a greedy producer takes advantage of three small teens and exploits them for money. <laughs> They're chipmunks, by the way. Th- the kids they sing. <laughs> That is like <laughs> and the product teens. I just say children, but yeah, that's basically it. They, yeah, like <laughs> look, they are chipmunks, but they're clearly like they're basically children. What they say in the yeah. film, we're children. Yeah, and then like, um, we're kids. And then point. my name is Earl. Is like you can't do that. They're they're children, and he's like, fuck you. I don't care. Fucking... Yeah, he's like, fuck you. They give me money. Yeah. <laughs> Give him some cocaine and get him working, you know? Long hours, yeah. <laughs> who cares? There's so many... I'm sure that you're going to have them as well. There's so many questions I have about like the logistics of this, but we'll get into oh, it. Oh, yeah. Like, like, we, should we certain, get into it now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should I'd imagine straight into yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go, go straight into it. Because it, I think with this, immediately they start with a chipmunk rendition of Had a Bad Day. <laughs> um I don't know if that's the name of the song. I had a bad day. I think it is. Bad day. Had um, a bad day. You know. That's what, what everybody knows. Yeah. Yeah. That's like what everybody knows it by. It just immediately, you know. I mean, you know what you're getting in for. It's weird because I remember when I was younger, like I really loved like all of like the songs that they did, yeah, whatever yeah, their yeah. versions of the songs. And it's weird now thinking back and like thinking they just got people to sing it and then up the <laughs> yeah, pitch. Yeah, they did. You know so what I mean? Much. Like it's those aren't yeah. real. They they aren't actual voices. Like they're just people's voices that they up the pitch. They got yeah. them to like sing and then up the pitch on it and like maybe sped them up a little bit or something to to give it that kind of weird thing. And so when you think about like oh all of these songs like oh the chipmunks sang the song. No, they just got the voice actors for the chip. They have specific voice actors for the chipmunks, but they just did that, made them really high pitched. It, it made me wonder whether the covers of the songs that they did. They just like upped the. They just upped the pitch of the songs. Song. They were like, "Oh, the chipmunks sing it." <laughs> well, because you they... could do that. You could just make the pitch really high and then maybe speed it up a little bit and then be like, "Look, this is the chipmunk version of this song." And it's, it's just like, chip- <laughs> "It's the chipmunk version of WAP." Where is pussy? That's a WAP. That's a WAP. <laughs> but they. they... <laughs> But for the kids, they have to like censor it, so it's yeah. wet ass chipmunk instead. Oh no! <laughs> <It's just> whack. <laughs> That's a whack. <laughs> and they're all like, "Yeah," and they're like, "Good to work in a chipmunk." Real ass chipmunk. 
<laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I mean, like, I... Uh. It's funny to... Because I... Because it's literally like that it opens up, it like cuts in from black and it's like this, it's like panning over a forest, right? Or it's like a crane shot mm. or something um, of this big forest and you can hear them singing. And like, I probably haven't seen this since 2007 because I liked it. Yeah. But I don't think, I don't remember like, it wasn't one of those cult kids films for me, like Monsters Inc. or something that you just yeah, rewatch Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and I was just like, fucking hell. I forgot how irritating, like, their yeah. voice. Like, why did I think this was good? Like, I, and. There, I, it's weirdly, like, it's grating, isn't it? But yeah. in a kind of way that you first hear it and you're like, oh, yeah, I remember this. And then you're like, oh, no, this is really annoying as it, <laughs> yeah, goes, yeah. As it goes on more and more. And you're like, oh, I really don't like this. <laughs> and, I, and I remember, it's kind of, it's weird about, like, it's kind of like the Minions thing of, like, you know how people are like, yeah. oh, the fucking Minions are so annoying. And I was like, I remember at the time, like, older... I loved like, them my, at the time. Yeah, yeah, and, and like, all, all older kids, or, like, my, my older siblings and, like, my parents, like, and other parents were like, this is fucking horrible this is so annoying and me being like however old i was at the time being like no it's good you you're old <laughs> this is good and then looking back at it and like oh yeah no this is this is horrible why would i why would i listen to this as like music I used to ha used to have this on my phone yeah. and just listen to it as if it was a normal song <laughs> yeah seriously yeah <laughs> And that's the thing. It's like it is, yeah, it is marketed for for kids, and that's why that's where the three hundred well, yeah, million yeah. came and, from. And you know, yeah, it was massive. Maybe, maybe it also, maybe it isn't so irritating to kids as well because you know, like they can hear like higher pitches and stuff, and maybe it doesn't bother them so much. Uh, but yeah. when you get older, the higher pitches annoy you more. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? I mean, yeah, there could yeah. be some science behind yeah. it, or it's just shit, <laughs> <laughs> or it's just fucked. It's just stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Stupid ass chipmunks <laughs> sack. <laughs> That's a sack. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> That's my sack. That's my sack. <laughs> um. Anyway, yeah, yeah. Let's go on. With so, this. I mean, but, but yes, yeah, let's get figured through this. But, 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 I mean, for me, my first note was that, and then. It occurred to me, like, they're singing a popular human song. But I was like, where did they... Yeah. Where... And, and this is where it comes in, right? This is, like, where the credit... Where where um where the, yeah. where the questions come in. Because it's just like, where did they... In the nitpicks. They, they live in a tree. Like, where are they getting these, these fucking, you know... Yeah. And, and, and later on, they're like... So their, their tree gets cut down... And they get put into their, tr but they're still in the they're tree, like the they're tree. hiding in the yeah. tree when it gets cut yeah. down, and no one's noticed. <laughs> yeah, the whole yeah. time. But yeah, because it gets cut down because it gets put in a building for a Christmas tree, right? And then they're like, mm. "Oh no, they've remodeled our forest." And then, uh, and then the blue one, I can't remember their names. Is it Simon? Simon, thank you. I do know them very well. <laughs> I, I was... Well, oh, he's the blue one. Is Alvin the blue one in Impressionable? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah. Uh, so the blue one, it's like, no, we're in a building. And I was like, D how do they know what a building is? So and... the, yeah, they clearly have, like, experience. Especially since there's something way later on where he's talking about, like, credit scores. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, stuff. I put like, that. They know about yeah. shit. It's weird. He's like, you ever heard of a credit rating? I was like, have you? Ever heard of yeah. a credit rating? What, yeah. How do you know about credit scores? <laughs> you chipmunk. <laughs> and like... Stupid ass yeah, chipmunk. I, I was like, yeah, well, look, they could speak English. And why can they sing? That That's a whole nother, you know... We I, I guess you just got to sort yeah. of like let that slide. It's like, this is the rule of the universe. They just, they, they speak, they sing, but, they're sentient. But they know about... They're like... They, they know about credit scores... And they know what buildings are, but then later they're like, 
hiding their food under a rug because they think they have to store it for winter. I was like, you know what? You know yeah. what credit ratings are, but you don't know what a shop is. Like, why? <laughs> where, yeah. where does it? Why? What? Where yeah, did the lies where, end? <laughs> where, where's the Where's the thing of like? What do you know and don't know? Yeah, I was just like, wait, what are it's, you talking about? <laughs> yeah, it's the it's the like ah, the kids won't bother with it, and the parents won't. Yeah, yeah, the parents are listening because they're just popping on for yeah. the kids. <laughs> Either that, or the parents are like, yeah, singing along to Christmas. Christmas time is here, and reliving their childhoods and just ignoring it. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's just like, like, uh, there's only so much I can let slide, you know. Because when you're a kid... <laughs> There's only so much you can get away with, chipmunk. Yeah, fucking pricks. <laughs> but, like... <laughs> sorry. Sorry, chipmunks. But I was just like, well... It, why... It's just... When you're a kid, all these things, you're just like, I don't... You know, you're, you're there for the jokes, you're there for the funny it, voices. The jokes, yeah, the jokes go over your head, because it's like credit score, and then you're like... You're just like a blank tape yeah, yeah, waiting yeah, for the next, yeah. waiting for them to do like a fart joke or something. Yeah, yeah. You're like, I don't know what a credit score. Yeah. yeah. But then it's like, well, if you're making jokes for me as an adult, like, so now I'm like, oh, ha, that's funny. But now I'm thinking about why do they know what a credit score is? And then when stuff comes later and they're like, oh, I don't know how to turn off a tap. It's like, but, but you turned on the tap. Why? This doesn't make any sense. Yeah. There's only so much that I can deal with before I start to get angry. Look, for for chipmunk survival, okay, there's only there's they only limit their knowledge <laughs> down to what they need yeah. to know to survive. So obviously a credit rating is important <laughs> in chipmunk society, you know. <laughs> and that's the thing, is it is it's like is it all are all chipmunks sentient beings that can talk? They kind of broach the subject very 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 briefly where later on somebody says something like can other animals talk what about birds and then they're like oh birds are stupid or something i don't know they're, they're just like they just kind of brush, brush over, over it yeah. and they're like we're not going to answer that question yeah and, and 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 everyone else knows what a chipmunk is so they've obviously encountered chipmunks before and they haven't spoken yeah so it's like or some like, yeah yeah let alone sing so why uh, there's no explanation for why they could talk, and there doesn't. Not that there needs to be, but it's just such like a. There needs to be. They need to have <laughs> been just three regular chipmunks that touched an old Mayan artifact <laughs> and became super chipmunks. <laughs> they get like they get struck by lightning, then they fall out of the tree, and then like there there's like the guy into with the a chain. vat of into a passing <laughs> vat of acid. <laughs> yeah, and they come out, and they're the Joker and Harley Quinn, and. And Theodore, or whatever his name, <laughs> he's just there. He's normal. Oh, impressionable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, impressionable. There we go. <laughs> but yeah, like I, I think the next thing is like because it all happens. I don't know. This film, a lot happens quite quickly, but it also feels yeah, it's, it's really long. I don't know if you got that. It's it's very like it's very like formulaic. I mean, you get the. Be you're introduced to Dave, who's the My Name Is Earl guy, yeah. and he's like, he's trying to do the pitch for his song to this guy that he knew from college, and it doesn't go well. He's like, this song is shit. He specifically says, uh, oh, no, oh, no, actually, no, before you see him going to do this pitch, the first thing you see of him is, like, getting out of bed, and he's clearly, like, quite lazy or whatever. He goes outside, and he just happens to bump into the woman, Claire, who he's like, oh... It, I mean, he basically says, uh, like, the dialogue's so blunt, he basically goes, oh, you are an ex-partner of mine, and you do not like me anymore. <laughs> and then she's like, oh, no, I can see you're just exactly the same as you were when we broke up for the exact same reasons, because you're lazy and you always fool around, and you can't take things seriously. And that is why we <sighs> broke up, and that is why we are not getting together definitely by the end of this film at all, ever. Uh, good day. And then he's like, let's go on a date. <laughs> And she's like, wait, what? And he's like, cool, bye. And for some reason, that <laughs> yeah. works. Yeah, they, they do they, like, have a date. She's like, I'm coming around, remember? And she's kind of like, oh, yeah. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm like, why are you going? <laughs> you said you... <laughs> yeah. She's like, you are, you like, you you fool around and you, you can't have like a serious relationship. You're not mature enough. 
Yeah. I'll come round for it. I'll come <laughs> for a day. I mean, okay. You asked me. You well, I me mean, to... like, what? Well, uh, I mean, we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves. But like, when the ch- when she does come around, sure. she's like, "Oh, I hope you didn't think this was a date." I was like, well, "Yeah, it's just a stress free thing. Two friends, you know, not a yeah, date of any sort." But why wouldn't he think it was a date? He basically asked yeah. you for. A- Come to my house and eat food, and we used to yeah, we used to burn why, all the time. Like, why would he assume it wasn't a date instead of meeting at like a mutual place yeah, out like, somewhere? Like, let's go have a coffee and with and friends, chat, just like as normal as friends. Not like, oh, you haven't changed. Oh, hey, come for my come to my house for dinner. Let's yeah, exactly. You haven't changed a bit, and he's like, come <laughs> on by to my house, yeah, babe. Remember what we used as... to do? I got a couple <laughs> chipmunks we can. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Get involved. <laughs> He's like, come and have a couple of drinks at my house as friends. Friends. <laughs> <laughs> we will do nothing. She's like winking. <laughs> She's like, I can see you. you yeah. What? I know what you're trying to do. Stop winking. He's like, eh. <laughs> He's like, no, seriously, we will just yeah. shake hands and have a drink and then leave. <laughs> Call it an yeah. early night and have work in the morning. <laughs> He's like, I've got a couple of chipmunks I want you to meet. She's like, is that a euphemism? She's like, what He's is... like, no, yeah, I've, yeah. I've got three talking chipmunks. <laughs> Come over. <laughs> Which is kind of basically yeah. what happens. But yeah, we'll get to it again. Um, but uh, that bit, that, that but, bit where yeah, he it's... like um, yeah. talks to... He, he's showing um, Tobias... I don't know what... What's his actual name? The Tobias from uh, Ian. So he's talking to Ian. Ian, yeah, slimy uh, David Ian. Cross. He he looks like the most kind of like nineties <laughs> music producer asshole who's like always got a Bluetooth speaker in. He's got the like little. He's got the little. Uh, the, the ear. Hand, what do you call it? It's not a goatee, but it's just like thing. the little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he he's got the, like the little hair underneath his his bottom lip. It's like I don't know. I don't know what you particularly call that. It's like, funny. A soul patch and the gla- the he's weird the glasses. Patch. Yeah, but like he looks like that. But that is just what David Cross looks like. That's his. Yeah. I don't know if you've seen David Cross in real life. He's got like a no, sleeve I know, I tattoo. Did, that's the thing, just... yeah. <laughs> uh, but he looks like it's the most nineties. Yeah, kind literally. Of, uh, literally. <laughs> music producer look. Um, <laughs> And then, you know, he doesn't like the song, and then Dave goes home, he's all sad, but he steals, like, a basket of muffins and stuff uh, before he leaves. But what 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 Ian says to him beforehand is he's, like, he kind of highlights the fact that nobody would sing his songs. It's like, again, they clearly wrote it in that way, because he's like, yeah, see, but the song sucks. Who would sing this? Hmm? Timberlake? Yeah. Uh, you, you know... I don't know whoever else at the time. I don't remember the other references he makes, but he's like, you know, Shakira. who would sing this? These people, these people. Yeah, it's like no, that, that you know, you're never going to find someone to sing your song, yeah, and then yeah. you're like, hmm, I saw three singing chipmunks <laughs> earlier. I wonder, I wonder uh, how this is relevant. <laughs> hmm. I wonder where this film is going. <laughs> but all of the when he's leaving the office after him saying like, now nah, your music shit get out. All of the employees kind of treat him like he's a leper because when he was walking in, you get this whole kind of magical kind of thing where you've got all of these um, employees. This woman comes up with a, a basket of muffins and she's like, would you like a muffin at all? And he's like, oh, no, I'm fine, thanks. And other one's like, can I get you some water? Can I get you some drinks? And the other one's like, can I get you this? And he's like, no, uh, maybe later. Thank you. And then he comes back out and he's like, hey, and, you know, it goes to each of them in town like, hey, uh, could I? Could I get some of that water? That sounds good. And then she's like, Ugh, <laughs> don't talk to me, you disgusting creature. Your music was shit. Ugh. Even though they're just like sat at the office. They must have had like a group chat or something where as soon as he walks out, uh, Ian just p- pops a thing on, just like a thumbs down, yes. like, eh, eh, yeah. treated like shit. And then everyone's yeah, like, he goes to reach for a muffin, she takes the basket away. She's like, these muffins are for Good singers only. <laughs> you piece of shit. And then, God. <laughs> well, I was just going to say, he, he nicks the muffins. Yeah, he just but, steals the, but, the basket. But yeah. later, he he gets home. But, uh, yeah, he that's it. He, like, nicks the muffins, he's running away, and then he kind of, like, goes home, right? Because the... Well, yeah, because uh, simultaneously, 
he's leaving the foyer with the stolen muffins. Um, thing of muffins. And then the chipmunks are like trying to, there's like all this hustle and bustle of the building and they're getting scared and they're trying to run to like a safe thing. And for some reason they decide to jump onto the basket of muffins. <laughs> so and that's how they end up like in Dave's house. They're just like, oh my God, I'm so stressed. Oh, muffins. Nice. Let's have some of that. Yeah. <laughs> but then he just like. Follow the muffins. <laughs> he just like, he gets home and he's literally stolen this massive basket of muffins. And he just looks at them. He's like, eh, nah. It just throws the entire basket away. I was like, D- just you could keep the Physical muffins. Physical pain that caused me. I was like, what are you doing? They're good muffins. Yeah, and you've the got basket. so many muffins there. Just eat them. Yeah, and, and like, but, but you could keep the basket at least. If you don't want the muffins, give them to someone. Give them to your neighbor. Give them to Claire. Be like, hey, Give them baby. to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, give them to me. A real Sorry. person. Yeah, give them to me, not Claire. <laughs> yeah, fuck them. <laughs> Give it to me, um, and they blueberry. I'll take them. But yeah, like I was just yeah, like, yeah. what are you, what are you doing? Don't don't throw them away. And then put them to good use. And he just he has no remorse for any of his stuff because after that he's like, oh, I guess I'll never be a musician or write songs or whatever vague thing he wants to do. So he just lobs. Like, his entire musical instrument collection. Like, he's lobbing his keyboard out. He's lobbing a drum set and guitar. Just out into the front porch. I was like, mate, just sell it. Have a garden sale. Yeah. You ever heard of a bloody car boot, mate, on a Sunday? Go down, fill up your car. Be like, hey, do you want to buy some bloody uh, instruments out the back of my car? You know? And then he, car boot he, he on goes around to the front of the car and he picks them up. And he starts <laughs> throwing them at them. <laughs> I'm expressing my rage. <laughs> He's throwing these. Do you want to buy this one? He throws the keyboard. And they're like, yes, thank you. <laughs> like, well, I would, but uh, it's a bit broken now. It was fine. And Can I do yeah. a discounted rate? <laughs> yeah. Take it. Five, five pounds or whatever. I'm like, this is a 250 pound <laughs> <laughs> keyboard. He's like, five pounds. It's car boot, mate. I want to get rid of it. It's bloody car boot. Everything's yeah. a fiver. You can't see, you can't have anything expensive in <laughs> a car boot. Everything's shit, and everything's worth three quid. That's all I want for it. How much is this uh, pristine diamond? Three bloody quid, mate. Just take it. Just take it. Get it <laughs> off my hands. That's how car boots work. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so anyway. <laughs> the chipmunks are, like, in his house, and they're fucking doing some, you know, they're doing that, oh, they're, we're in the house, we're chasing them about. He's like, you know, trying to catch them with a they, glass. They're trying to get some, like, food, I think. Yeah, I yeah. can't remember. They're trying to get food, and then he, he he's like, hmm, something weird is going on. I'm hearing lots of cupboards slamming <laughs> and, and weird things happening, and there's a couple of bowls that I swear weren't there before, and they look like they're trying to move across the kitchen counter. And then he and again, this is stuff I remembered from when I was younger, like where he picks up the bowl and yeah, and then yeah, because he's because he picks the, the bowl up kind of so that inside of the bowl is facing the camera and away from him, but he looks underneath and he's like, hmm, there's nothing here, but you can see from the camera that they're like trying to form fit themselves yeah, yeah. into the into the curve of the bowl to like hide from him and stuff. Um, but yeah, and then he like ends up then chasing them around and and. and <laughs> But he's chasing them around. Yeah, he's them. chasing them around. And then they're like, this will fucking stop him. They just smash a fucking massive glass jar over his head. And he's just like clean like out. A mason yeah, jar. Yeah, like heavy mason jar. It just smashes over her head. And I was just like, yep, dead. That's it. He's dead. Yeah. There we go. There it is. That's the film. L- <laughs> yeah, literally, like... Where was where's my note here? It, was, it says, uh, "Oh well, the f- the note beforehand." I said that the CGI isn't half bad, which generally in this film it's all right, it's not yeah. bad. It's decent. Um, there are some 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 right. decent. There's some there's some bits you know where you're yeah, like, "Yeah, eh, that's a little bit sketchy," but like the interaction between them and the world around them is very believable. They did yeah, it really definitely, well, definitely. Um, including the bit then on my next note where they hit him with a mason <laughs> jar and fucking kill him. <laughs> Because his expression is really funny as well, because it hits him and he just goes completely <laughs> blank and then just collapses. Like you can tell his yeah, his brain just, was shook. His brain was just shut off. 
<laughs> that's it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You're like, he's dead, man. The, that Oh, they should have done that. They should have done, like, they're like, oh, no, we're in his house. Oh, kooky. Let's throw a glass at him. And it, it just kills him. And then the rest of the film is them, like, trying to hide the body. No, the rest of the film is them, like, controlling the body. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, it's a... Uh, um... What's the oh god? What's the name of the like a weekend at Bernie's? Weekend yeah, at Bernie's. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Just, yeah. Like, walking around, but they're like he it, he is the one that becomes the hit singer <laughs> yeah. with their voices. They're like, why, why could you do three <laughs> different voices at the same time? Why do you not take your shades <laughs> off? Don't ask me that. What's happened to your voice? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I would have enjoyed. Oh my god, that would <laughs> I would have enjoyed film. that quite a lot more. I think. I, I thought you were going to say that, like, oh, they should have done it. It should have made it a more psychological thing where you're never sure whether it's in his head or not. And then, like, you have all of this stuff, and it's all wholesome and everything. And you know, the film ends the same way. And then, just at the end, there's like somebody, some voice that's like, "Wake up!" <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> you, know, yeah. You never know whether it's like. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, that would be cool. Just add another, you know, another layer to it. <laughs> yeah, it's like a kid. It, it, it is. It's still like a kids' film, but at the end, it's like a psychological thriller. Like and you're just like, oh my god. It's just like, <laughs> yeah, that's so deep. <laughs> was this Christopher Nolan like fucking twist at the end? Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> Get some Hans Zimmer on there. Yeah. <laughs> like, Wake up as a boy, <laughs> and then like you know the ticking clock like. Yeah, <laughs> and one of the chipmunks looks at him. Is like, we need to go deeper. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, what? <laughs> yeah, his voice changes and everything. And then, <laughs> he's like, Dave, what are you doing? And then it's like the, we need to go deeper. <laughs> <laughs> and then they all just like fly backwards, <laughs> uh, so like sat on the chairs, and then it all goes like slow mo, yeah. and it's literally just Inception like plays from there. <laughs> but there's still but chipmunks. chipmunks. It's Chipception. <laughs> We've done it. Chipception. We've done it. Chipception. <laughs> We're going to insert a chipmunk, or the idea of a chipmunk, into the brain of somebody within a dream, in a dream of a chipmunk. <laughs> and everyone's chipmunks. He w- what's so, so he wakes up and then he just thinks everyone is chipmunk. <laughs> They're like, yes, we've done it. Yeah. We've implanted the seed. It was successful. And he wakes up and he's just like, ah! Ah! <laughs> Everything's chipmunks! Ah! He's like, somebody's the same height as him and he looks at their feet because he's, he's talking to what he thinks is the small chipmunk in front of him. They're like, man, are you okay? <laughs> Why are you staring at my feet? He's like, what? Are, oh, what's You're going on? You're a talking chipmunk. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to get you to sing. Sing my song. What are you talking about? <laughs> Christmas, yeah. Christmas time. They're like, what the fuck? It's not Christmas. Do you need help? It's July. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. His eyes are like super red. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, but you could totally turn this into a psychological thriller. Yeah, That'd be great. They should have. They should have. Let's pitch it. Fuck he this. He sees chipmunks yeah. everywhere and it's like, <laughs> every time you see one. <laughs> and it overlaps each other. So he goes out to a crowd. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> He's like, ah! It's like the, um, was it the, like the Instagram, like, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Anyway, that's not what happens <laughs> yeah. in the film. Anyway. <laughs> Sadly. So, he, like, he catches them, and then he's like, oh, fucking, like, oh my god, you can talk. That's really creepy. Get out of my house. And they're like, he kind of accepts it, like, he accepts it kind of quick, and then he's like, well, that's, it's worse that you talk. Yeah. I, you can leave. It, yeah, it could, I made that note, because I was like, I guess that they kind of pitch it as like, oh, but they're talking chipmunks, and he's like, oh, you're, you're creepy and weird, I don't like that you're talking. I was like, if a, if a talking chipmunk came into my house, I'd be like, get the fuck out. Like, what? This is fucking creepy. <laughs> I hate this. I was on his side completely. Yeah. I was like, yeah, get them fucking get them out right now. I need to see a therapist. You'd, yeah, you'd you'd either think that you were nuts or that 
something else was going yeah. on. It's like, yeah. I mean, like, I'm scared and I don't know what's happening. Please leave. Yeah. But then he, he, he then realises that they sing good and he's like, oh, well, uh, money and popularity. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I, uh, I, can, I can exploit these. <laughs> I can exploit these. Just I can, I can use these to my own ends. But, um, which is funny because the, the whole thing of like David Cross is bad because he's exploiting them and using them for money. And he's like, no, that's bad. I, I, I was exploiting family. them, but not as bad as you were exploiting them. So that I, I was doing the good kind of exploiting them, but you're doing the bad. Yeah, kind he's of- like, I only started out <laughs> exploiting <laughs> yeah. them. It was later on that I was like, oh, I guess I'll like raise them as my own children. <laughs> Which again know. is another he... weird question. Like, oh, don't. There's so <laughs> many. Like, is there? How, how does it work? Are they? Do they have legal documentation so that he like has officially adopted these chipmunks? Do they just count as pets? I mean, they're sentient creatures. But I mean, <laughs> do they go to school? As somebody who's seen the second film, they go to school in the second film. So oh, really? Oh, That's a whole, we can. God. Yeah, we could talk about that in the second. Oh, one, I can't that, wait. I'm so excited. We'll talk about that next week. <laughs> But it's but then they know about credit scores. I mean, do they have like, you know, do they have bank accounts? I mean, I know that um, Ian was saying that he was he'd be making them like twenty k a day. So do they have bank accounts? In that case, do they have identities like officially recognized yeah. by, you know, like America? Are they American citizens? Like, how does this work? Wait, that that <laughs> what does this mean for all yeah. the other chipmunks? That that you've raised an interesting point there because they say um, they make the joke of like. Ian's like, I could be making you 20k, like 20 large. And then later they're like, Ian said he could be making us $20 a day. I was like, so you know what a credit score is, but yours is really shit. (laughs) To to be fair, it was, it was, uh, I suppose you could argue that it was, uh, it was Alvin that was like, uh, oh, maybe, maybe all, maybe, um, the blue one is the only one who actually knows anything about the real world. (laughs) Yeah. The smart one. And the others are just fucking dumb as well. <laughs> and he's just like, yeah, $20. I'll I'll take care of the money side. You get your $20 and I'll take everything else. Don't worry about that. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't you worry. You'll get your $20. <laughs> you <laughs> yeah. dumb bitch. You dumb fucking... Simon's just along yeah. with the ride. Simon's <laughs> fucking him over. Simon's hustling them all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that and that's the thing with Simon is that... Um, because it kind of, he's got like poor eyesight and he can't see something when he tries to catch it. So then Dave is like, oh, you can't see very well? Uh, mm, uh. And he goes over to this like toy Santa or this decorational <laughs> Santa he's got, takes the glasses off and gives them to Simon. And he was like, Mwah, perfect subscription. <laughs> you know, you've, you've, your eyesight is now perfect. And Simon was like, oh my God, I can see. I was like, so they, they actually gave like prescribed, uh, <laughs> Glasses to uh, Santa. Yeah, prescription, not subscription. I don't know why I said subscription. subscription. But they give him like the perfect. He's <laughs> subscribed to these glasses today. Yeah, they give him glasses that just perfectly work with his eyes. And I was like, ah, yes, kid logic. They are glass sh- glasses shaped, and therefore they must work like glasses. Yeah, but also I was like, why? Why is the toy manufacturer like giving prescribe? Why are they spending the time to make the glasses? actually work for a toy that santa can see obviously maybe in this universe um all of the toy santas are also sentient beings he's <laughs> <laughs> so like and he was just sleeping so he took the he took the glasses from him. he's like ah he doesn't need him yeah no, we tried uh, you didn't see it but we tried singing with santa earlier it didn't make me a dime so fuck him he just sits in the corner now <laughs> we sing with chipmunks I... now yeah <laughs> get out of here but i was like I feel like I'm getting old now, because so when, when yeah, when, I'm I'm 104, but when when older than me, yeah, <laughs> yeah, fucking old man, bastard. But like when when I watched this as a kid, I was like, Haha, yeah, you go chipmunks, like fucking get them, they're so funny, <laughs> yeah, get them fired, fucking go draw on his thing. But as, as, as I am now, a hundred and four year old, I was watching this and I was like, "You fucking little shits! 
You've ruined his presentation. You, you fucking... <laughs> you, you're ruining his house. You're flooding his house. I was like, you fucking... That's... Oh, stupid chipmunks. To be fair, you got very annoyed at the grandma in Stop Out or, or My Mum Will Shoot, whereas I thought it was really endearing. Yeah, so I think there's definitely an element of like... <laughs> You've Tolerance, got that childhood... Yeah. Nah, fuck him. <laughs> yeah, you've got that childhood spirit still. <laughs> and I'm like, fuck everyone and everything. <laughs> Yours has been it. crushed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, the Emoji Movie did it. I'm telling you. It oh, ruined no. me. Yeah. <laughs> you having to edit through that. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, all you had to do is watch it and talk about it. I had to watch it, talk about it, then edit it. And re-listen to it. <laughs> and rethink about it. Every night... A, I go to bed, <laughs> I just see that meh face, and I'm like, oh! oh! <laughs> just popping. Yeah. Just emoji popping in your face. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but it's the James Corden one, whatever it was, a hand or something. Oh, no. And I'm like, oh, go that's away! Just awful. <laughs> Get out of here! I'm having night terrors every oh, night. That's why I'm so grumpy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But it is, I mean, yeah, it's funny to think about, like, some of the realistic sides of things. Um, there's a bit where, which I, <laughs> I didn't, it's not like I found it, like, funny. Um, in my notes, I put in block capitals, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> um, because I did kind of, I was like, oh, no, they've really done this. Where he's having a go, it's, Dave's having a go at the, some of the chipmunks because they're being naughty. Yeah. Uh, you know, we've had a bit of time, so they're like kind of established that they can sing, and he's going to write f the songs, and yeah, they yeah, stay yeah. in the house and whatever. And then Theodore gets a bit like scared or like anxious or something, and then it cuts back to him, and Dave is like, "Did you just?" I mean, he doesn't obviously say like "take a shit on my sofa," but there's a little like there's a little bit of shit on the sofa, and he's like, "Theodore, is that what I think it is?" And then Simon comes in with the save, and he's like. He's like, it's a raisin, Dave. And he's like, prove it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was fucking, but I was like, that chipmunk's going to eat that shit. <laughs> <laughs> and he puts it in his mouth. He's like, mmm. And he's like, oh, right, okay, I'll let you off. And then he spits that out and he turns to Theodore and he's like, you owe me big time. I was like, what the f He just put that shit in his mouth. <laughs> like, I would never do that. If, you, if, we're, if, we're, yeah. if we're both in you'd trouble be like, You'd be like, yeah, no, he did poop on the thing I'm really no, sorry or, or you'd be like, nah, it's a raisin And you'd you like, prove it and you're just like, no <laughs> Yeah, no, no, not worth it, you no, caught me No, it's not a raisin, it's <laughs> shit I'm not eating that shit <laughs> yeah. Nothing you could do or say Will make me eat that shit <laughs> Yeah <laughs> And it's funny because I remember that quote as well from when I was younger where he's you, like, it's a raisin yeah, day. Yeah, I, I remember that you owe me. Like, I remember thinking that was so funny. Just like, <laughs> he, ate, he ate shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but then, yeah, Dave is kind of going into a spiral because he tried to present the, um, he tried to present the, the singing chipmunks to Ian, but they were, they had stage fright, so they didn't do anything. And then Ian was like, you just showing me chipmunks. Yeah. You're weird. And and also, you're dumb. Goodbye. So he's like, oh, my life is... My life sucks. I'm gonna... Oh, I've, like, lost my job because of the presentation thing. that He did a presentation. The chipmunks had, like, scribbled all over it. And instead of the people, you know, the board meeting people just being like, oh, this is really unfortunate. Like, you clearly have, like, <laughs> kids... Or maybe nephews or nieces who've defaced the uh, presentation that you've got to bring in. Look, it's not professional. You should yeah. have checked it beforehand, but we understand. Or something. But they're just like, oh, what is this? This is so ridiculous. What is this? I don't understand. What is this? <laughs> yeah, because they write like... It's, it's, and then they're like, you're fired. Yeah, because they're like... Because clearly that was what his presentation was <laughs> supposed to be. It's like a graph and it's like size of... Um... What's his fuck? What did we call him? Oh, uh, imitation. What was imitation? <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, impressionable. That's it. Impressionable. Invincible. <laughs> Invincible. Yeah. <The> superhero. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, impressionable. It's like the size of Impressionable's ass, and it's like getting bigger with the graph. Yeah. And they're like, "Why have you written this? Like, why? 
you honestly think he wrote that? Like, yeah, for this uh, for this pitch, this is the size of this random chipmunk's ass. And if you see here, <laughs> it's uh, it, in the in the first quarter, it's quite small, but in the third quarter, it's massive. And that's the projection. His he eats ass a lot at this is time. huge. And they're like, interesting. I see where you're going with this. And yeah, so like, he's kind of ranting and raging about the fact that he's lost his job and they've wrecked the house and all this kind of stuff. And he's like, oh, everything is awful and my life sucks. And then he gets the, they like one of the chipmunks accidentally steps back and presses the answer phone message button. And he hears a call from Claire, the woman from earlier, who was his ex. And she's like, hey, so um, <laughs> I don't know why I'm nervous about this. but <laughs> I was going to, you know, have that dinner with you were saying about your house and I'll be there at seven, which isn't like far away at this point. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, everything is great, baby. Yeah, <laughs> yeah let's clean this place up. And like, yeah, this woman's going to come round. It's totally a date. Yeah. And it wasn't. <laughs> no, but also, like, why? We've talked about it a little bit, but why? Why is she going? Why, why is she nervous? It, why is she well, going because, in the first place? And I made the note... Um, I made the note literally during the whole uh, like dinner scene. I, I I just I wrote Claire is written so dumb because of course she is like, <laughs> yeah, because yeah. of course it's the like her she, her only role in the film is to be the the ex love interest goal who is like oh I I'm not interested in you oh now you have some chipmunks yeah. and you you're looking after them and. To show that you've changed, I'm now interested in you yeah. <laughs> because now you're interesting. And she just like she isn't a character; she's just a a, a tool. She's up, so yeah. she's like, so of course, yeah, exactly. Like, so of course, she's just like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna go on this date that you yeah. quote unquote wittily invited me on. Yeah, but it's not a date, even though I'm nervous for some reason. If it's not a date, yeah, why, even though why I, am I, I said that I was I nervous just, about. Yeah coming to see you we've had like an act of like a proper history like yeah. maybe they were together for an expanse of time like maybe even like, like maybe a couple of years yeah, they who, were together you know like, they, they spent a long time together and then she's just like this blank slate who's like oh this is lovely dinner we're having i am a woman <laughs> and then and then the music the, then the chipmunks start trying to like mess with the like the music starts yeah. they put the radio on and the radio it like because she makes the point of specifically saying, oh, I'm really glad that we could have this just no stress, no pressure uh, non date meetup yeah. where we eat food in your house at your table, <laughs> you know, and it's not a date. And there's and you're not being weird or creepy about it because it's not a date. I'm glad about this. And then the radio just comes in like, oh, yeah, <laughs> baby. And then you turn the lights and down. And she's looking at him like, hmm. Yeah. <laughs> turn the lights down. Yeah. Turn the fire off. <laughs> That's weird. That's just such a weird because they're like, they're like, oh, Claire's his mate, because he's like, they, they, oh, they have a conversation. They're like, yeah. oh, why is he, why is he so nervous? And they're like, oh, because Claire's his mate. He's trying to mate with her. So they're literally like, yeah, turn the fire and turn the lights. Yeah, fuck her. Yeah, yeah that's go true. On. Yeah, we're going to make it nice and romantic yeah, for mate, you, buddy. Make sure you fuck her. These three children. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the music's like, oh yeah, they put on the fire and stuff. And she keeps looking at him as if he's doing. I, I mean, I get it that like if you were sat in that situation, all this stuff started happening. That is very clearly, you know, turn the lights down low, putting the fire on. You got the music and stuff, but it's not like he's sat there with a remote or anything. Yeah, he's like, and he keeps oh, yeah, explaining man. like the lights go low, and he's like, oh, the yeah, pff, the electrics, right? They're all bust and stuff. And then the fire turns on, and she looks at him. She's like. Ah. I'm gonna go. How the fuck do you think he light he lit that fire? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're sat at the table, he's got both hands with the knives and forks. Do you think it's like a timer or something, I guess? I don't know. He's going to a lot of effort. He's clearly if that's like the case. every time something happens, like the lights go down, the music turns on, he looks like distressed and surprised. He's like, what the fuck is going on? And you think, ah. Oh. And then making excuses yeah, for it. Yeah, yeah. like I know you're up to something, you cheeky little boy. You thought this was a date, but it's not. I'm just a friend. <laughs> and then he's, yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, it is stupid. It is, it is dumb. 
And of course we get the, uh, I think she leaves or whatever, and you get the kind of staple. I don't know if this is actually from the original cartoon, but you get the staple thing where he goes like, Alvin, yeah, yeah. which they really, I tell you what now, a little, little preview spoiler, they amp that up in the second one. Oh, thank Every, God. Like, they do it loads because they know that he like, that's his staple thing, right? Yeah, yeah, that's the catchphrase, right? Like, I remember that as well. Yeah. I remember, like, running around the playground going, like, Alvin! Ha ha! Like the film! Yeah. <laughs> just, like... And just, just shouting at yourself and everyone's looking at you. <laughs> like, all the kids are looking at you. And you look at them and you're like, like the film. <laughs> <laughs> this was in six form. <laughs> like, so I'm just running around. Yeah. as like, an 18-year-old going, like, Alvin! Ha ha ha! And everyone's like, what the fuck? <laughs> What are you doing? I'm trying to study here. <laughs> trying to revise for my exams. Alvin! Like the film. <laughs> you know that one? That film? <laughs> but they so they do like, they they record the, what, they, they go to, um, to. Uh, no, so next they kind of have like, because they've messed so much up for him and then he, I think that's when he like starts to write this note being like, guys, this isn't going to work. You, you chipmunks are going to have to leave. Oh yeah. yeah and, yeah. and whatever, uh, because they've been like recording and practicing and, and whatever, cause you know, recording this, this song that I guess he's supposed to have written. I don't know if it, yeah, but they're practicing all this stuff, but it's not going well. And he's, he, he wants them to leave, but at the same time, they don't know this and they sneak out of the house to go to, um, uh, the music producer guy Ian. That's it. Ian, yeah. Somehow, yeah. They they somehow go to his house, and then like he they knock on the door. He opens the door, and then they 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 all just in. start like yeah. singing. And he literally, again, he's just opened the door to three singing chipmunks, which is not <laughs> an established normal thing in this universe to people. And he just immediately is like. Welcome to money, boys and yeah, girls. Yeah. Come on in. Yeah. yeah, this is. I have no issues with this. Yeah, I. Uh, it's just so many. There's, there's too much. Like, th there's always like plot points where you're like, this is dumb. This doesn't make any sense. I feel like there's just so much in this that because of the general premise of like it's talking chipmunks that can sing. That like because that's the that's the start point everything in this universe is broken like nothing makes any yeah. sense why would they like they had to have fallen to earth in a spaceship or they touched the old lion yeah uh, like... artifact that gave them their singing powers yeah, like why why <laughs> this is canon and, and everyone's okay with it no one's like that they, they have a fan base like, they release a single and everyone's like, Oh my god, I love the chip, but Alvin's so sexy. Yeah, woo! And I'm, uh, everyone's just like... <laughs> yeah, they do weirdly sexualize yeah, yeah. them a bit. It's just like, what? Why? Why? Why are there... Why are people okay? If, if we turn on the news, like, tomorrow... And then there's like, Oh my god, talking chipmunks, and they could sing, and they've released a single. I'd be like, I'm not okay with this. I, I'm not, I, yeah, something I, I'm not, I, immediately people be like, are these chipmunks being exploited? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, capitalism wins yeah. again. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's stupid because they like, they, this was sort of glossed over, but they, so they record that Christmas song and it's like a really big hit. And then they're like, oh, you've, you've won best artist, best new artist. And I was like, what, for one song? Like, really? Surely, yeah. surely, like, what, in 2007, there wasn't any other new artists up and coming? Maybe release a whole album? No, it's probably because they, they then took all the songs from all the other artists, <laughs> and then they upped the pitch and the speed very slightly, and then released them, and then they were like, this is incredible, and then all the artists were like, but that's my work, and they were like, no, this is, they're chipmunks. Yeah. <laughs> they sing. Yeah, because late, later they're like... Um, he's like, oh, you've got to write me a new single by the end of this week, otherwise I'll kill you. Yeah, he wants a, hit, a new yeah. hit single, something fresh. Yeah, I'll kill you. And the new hit single is um, <laughs> The Witch Doctor. Like, you know, yeah. I told the witch doctor. And I was like, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. Not, that's not a new song. 
You've just stolen someone else's song. Unless, yeah, unless in this universe, they've just, yeah, they don't have these songs. And this is how it Yeah, like out. these are, uh, so are these, do these artists not exist? So when they're just like singing Had a Bad Day at the start in the tree, is that a song they've made up? Like <laughs> They're just like. Yeah. <laughs> they just heard it like p- pumping from the speakers from the guys who are like yeah, down below yeah. cutting down all the trees. Yeah, and they're like, oh, banger. Let's learn this. Let's harmonize. Come on, yeah. guys. Let's fucking yeah. I but I, I made I made that note saying, does no one realize that Dave is ripping off pre existing <laughs> yeah, songs? Yeah, they're like, nice witch doctor, like it, good. And then the actual artists are like, what? The, he, he's just ripped off our song. And then they're like, oh my god, what is this rubbish version of that? Yeah, it, why song? is it so low? Why why is it so slow and low? <laughs> what, what what is this? High pitch yeah. is the cool thing now. But I noticed that um because you know that. You have the standard kind of story arc. Not that the story matters. Yeah. As we all know, the story yeah. doesn't matter. But you have the standard arc of, like, the music producer guy who's super rich, Uncle Ian, he can bring them all the toys and things that they want. Because for some reason, Dave was like, oh, I've got you guys presents. It's savings bonds. <laughs> Which is so just obscure. But it's kind of this weird on-the-nose thing of, like, oh, da- you know, Dave warned them that the temptation of of all this money and and wealth and like you can have whatever you want you can do whatever you want you you don't have to have a bedtime there are no rules here you can do whatever you want and it absolutely destroys them because they get no sleep and they don't have like yeah yeah they just have that weird thing where they're like he's like oh they need their proper sleep they need to eat properly and they they need to have their savings <laughs> bonds and it may not be good now but you invest and then it makes things better in the in the long run so you have these weird kind of like messages being preached and you know, they're going on tour, they're doing all this kind of stuff. And in the background, uh, at one point it, at like a gig or something, wherever it was, I don't remember. There's just somebody, Oh no, it's after they do the opening set and then they have like the DJ playing stuff and you hear the DJ like, ain't no party like a chipmunk <laughs> party. Cause the chipmunk party don't stop. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I can't believe I missed that. That is good. It's just like, yeah, it's just randomly in the background. <laughs> the point. I just thought that was great. It's probably my favourite quote in there, this. I, is that at that party where they meet Claire, like, properly for the, that? They have a conversation with her? Oh, maybe. Because that, that bit's weird, because they're like... The, she comes up to them and is like, oh, you, you know, I thought you were lying when you said you had talking chipmunks, but... Turns out you're telling the truth, uh, and then he's like, "Oh, oh you're, yeah, you're a, uh, you're still a bad person, though. I don't want to get back with you." And he's like, "Come on!" And she's like, "Nah." He's like, "And ah. then he's introducing them to the, um, to the chipmunks, and he's like, "Oh, this is Alvin," and Al- Alvin's like, "Damn, you're hot, Grr. And I was like, Wait, <laughs> does, "Does he?" Does he find people attractive? Does he find chipmunks yeah. attractive? Does he want to bang? Like, are they, do they want to have sex with They just do humans? whatever they want with like, these. They're like, yeah. Are, are, are the chipmunks having sex with humans? Maybe. Should we, should we look it oh, up? No. Should we Google it? They are Google rock stars image? now. No, no. <laughs> do not Google that. I mean, look, maybe they're people who were, who were turned into chipmunks and they're stuck, stuck in chipmunks' bodies. This is the theory for the first film, because then that's why that they're attracted to uh, humans uh, rather than other chipmunks, and <laughs> uh, that's why they know about things like credit scores and stuff. But they kind of had their memories partially wiped so that they don't think, "Wait, I'm a chipmunk, yeah. I'm not a person." <laughs> and then that's why that's that all fits. Apart from in the second film, where they're female <laughs> chipmunks, and then they want they are really they want to bang female <laughs> chipmunks. So uh, you know. <laughs> And Swings then, around us because later he's like, I can't like my name is Earl says something, and he's like, and Alvin's like, oh you blew it, like you're so bad at this, you're so bad at talking to women. And I was like, are you, you're good at this? You're, you're a, child. a child and also a chipmunk. What's your reference? Yeah. To, we have no reference for you being like really good at talking to women. You just said you just went, you're hot. Grr. Is that good? <laughs> Does he? Maybe maybe is it's he, a chipmunks. That's that's you know 
Yeah. That's top shelf. Is, is he... Is he top like, shelf pickup line. Does he fuck a lot? Like, is he good at... Is Alvin <laughs> oh, no. like a... You know, what... What is this? He's the equivalent of um, Danny DeVito's character yeah, from I Twins. Yeah, I fuck. <laughs> you know? I fuck that <laughs> nun. <laughs> no. But that is, yeah, it's just... It, I don't know, it is weird. They kind of like bounce between that sort of thing they're like oh they're kids but he's also really experienced yeah with women, apparently so oh, i mean at the same time it could i mean you could say it's the whole thing of uh he's a kid so he doesn't really know what he's talking about and he's just being like oh hey i know how to talk to women and then he'd walk up to her and be like you have cuties <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's a fucking uh, i don't know oh, i did i did like where um I mean, like I said, you're following the standard thing. You know, they get all of the the fame and stuff from from uh, Ian, the music producer, who's just leeching them for their money. Um, and that, but because they don't have any rules and boundaries, he's just exploiting them as hard as he can, and they get really tired and they haven't had their proper rest, and because they're just kids, as they keep saying, um, and and whatever. So then, at one point, what's his name? Dave is like. He's just shaving and he's like also watching TV at the same time, I guess. I don't remember where he's shaving, but he sees that um, the chipmunks are basically being like mistreated yeah, yeah. because they were taken out of his hands before and they think he doesn't want to see them and all this kind of stuff. But he sees that they're being mistreated. And what really bothered me was that he was in the oh, middle of shaving, yeah. but he'd just started. He literally had one. <laughs> uh he'd like he'd like put he'd like put the razor like halfway down one of his cheeks and you could see that dip in the yeah, yeah. in his shaving cream and that was it and then he was like ah, they need me my my kids need me and he just starts wiping off the rest of the stuff with the towel and i was like so wait he's just going to have one half like shaved patch on his face and he's just left the rest oh uh, yeah i was like <laughs> don't go out like that mate no, no, don't go out is... that late just you can yeah, finish yeah, it up you've, you've got, got enough minutes. time just finish it off yeah, like really just, quick yeah. just real quick just shave the rest of that off you're fine they're not gonna yeah, die before just, that just just wait come on <laughs> but oh, it, yeah that my my favorite bit was like because because they're being they're being overworked and you have this old thing they're like they're they're in the recording booth and they all fall asleep like because they're just so tired they can barely keep their eyes open yeah and his solution uh ian the the manager's solution is to get them coffee and it's a good analogy for like the music industry because because uh, they have this yeah. coffee and then they're just like fucking bouncing off the walls that's like doing flip bro Literally. and i was like that ain't coffee bro that that's that's yeah. <laughs> that's a cocaine right there we've seen it before the music the the the, the <laughs> artist is like oh i'm so tired god i can't do that and the manager's just like ah, have a have some of this have some of this it'll pick you up yeah come on yeah you can perform have a have a little um drink of we'll this coffee you know, I was just like, uh, there we go. I know, I know what you're doing. Uh, <laughs> I, I, it's coffee, but spelt like cocaine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, it's it's cocaine. I half expected <laughs> them to do a joke of like, where he gives them the coffee and they're like really pumped, and then like one of them, like, uh, uh, impressionable, is like, oh, I'm addicted to coffee now you know what i mean like he's shaking he's like i need my coffee come on yeah. give, it to me. give me a shot of coffee you know i, I was like uh oh, they missed a trick <laughs> he starts there. shaking the other ones down for money to try and get for the coffee <laughs> yeah. yeah comes an addict like fuck it yeah bro. but that is yeah you got any coffee mate? it's kind of yeah. <laughs> <laughs> little... scratching himself he's like yeah, man, you got any coffee on you? <laughs> Scratching his arm, he's like, "Yeah, got any coffee, mate? I'll give you, I'll give you anything for a little bit of coffee, mate." You know, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> this is we need, we need like the dark universe of Alvin and the Chipmunks. <laughs> Please, like they 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 murdered the guy, and then they're like drug addicts. You know, you, you know, like it's just like one. It's one of those films where they just keep 
going further down the rabbit hole of like they keep making mistakes and and reaching new rock bottoms. <laughs> They've murdered him. They're like a massively addicted to drugs they're like stuck in the music industry <laughs> they get spat out when they're not useful anymore and it's just like a really sad piece it's like that, they turn into like, like the that, exploitation yeah but it's like the classic um disney channel thing so like one of them's re- t- goes on to be really successful one of them just like drops off because they how poorly they're mistreated so they just are like I'm never doing acting again. I'm doing something else. Something yeah. better. And then one of them is just like a massive drug addict. He's like, oh, God, I've, <laughs> I've been chewed up and spat out by the industry. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> and then the one that becomes a big star has like a massive mental break and yes! does something Saves crazy. And then it's like really controversial for a while. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, that would have been so good. <laughs> Uh, um, the Av and the Chippies. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! But I think from I mean from there again, it's pretty standard. It's like, just like yeah, they're not fucking, good. And and yeah. Dave's like, my boys, look what they did to my boy. Look how they massacred my boy. And he uh, goes to kind of stop them from being absolutely destroyed what's his name ian tells them to just like lip sync the songs instead because they're they're so like destroyed that they can't even like sing yeah, anymore yeah. so it, but then they just they they see dave and dave is like my boys i'm here to see you and they're like okay cool let's just like wreck this whole show <laughs> to like shove it in ian's face and they go around and like nearly kill everyone backstage. Yeah, yeah. So they're like trying to get things to like fall down on people's heads and <laughs> and destroy equipment and all sorts of things. They're like causing absolute carnage. And then they all just kind of escape and they're back with the back with Dave and it's all happy. Yeah, and then, you know? and then he bangs the neighbor and that's it. But that, he bangs the neighbor that... and of course he ends the film by. By Alvin doing something, and he goes, Alvin. <sighs> the whole end sequence is so shit because they're like, they don't know. It was like they're building up to a big chase scene, but then they didn't want to do it or they didn't have the budget. They were just like, fuck it. Like, they get put in a cat carrier, they're going to Paris because Ian's like, fuck you, you're doing the shows, we're going to Paris, come on. And then, like, you know, Earl is like chasing fucking Ian in a car, like speeding off trying to catch them. And then instead of being like, he stops them and he gets them back in, then there's this confrontation. They're just like in the car. This is like, now nah, we got out. Yeah. And then he's like, how did you we get got, out? We got out of the cat thing. Yeah. I, I, they're like, how did you get out? And then I think it's Simon. He's like, I can't believe you're even asking that. Like, we're talking chipmunks. Like, it was so easy. And I was like, yeah, but how though? Yeah. Like, we didn't see it, so you just got out. We don't know, like, you just did? Like, what? Yeah, and then, and then we see that they replaced it with, like, these ugly toy <laughs> versions yeah. of themselves that just say different phrases in different languages, yeah, yeah. like chipmunk phrases in languages. Yeah. And they were like, we got them, we did the, we did the, we did the old one too. And then it was like, cool, we're all done now. Yeah, I was like, yeah, but would you you still have a contract though, right? Like you've you've just left, but surely. But then that, but then that begs that begs a question. I mean, can he have a contract with chipmunks? That's like saying, you know, you're signing a legal contract uh, with a with a, like a dog or something. Like, yeah, how does this yeah, work? I yeah. mean, would they have to have representatives? Can they can they sign on their own behalf? So they do they count as being sound mind and sound body, or because they. If they count as people, then because they're sentient creatures, then uh, are they not children? Because they're they're clearly saying that they're yeah. children. What do you clarify as being an adult <laughs> chipmunk in that case? <laughs> it's just so stupid, and especially the point was like, I was lot. like, they're just like, ah, we've escaped, and now everything is fine. I was like, wait, but you're still surely you can't just like go if you were part of a record company, right? Like, if you're an artist and you sign for a record company, surely you couldn't just be like, yeah. no, nah, d- I'm not doing it. I know I signed a contract. Not doing it. But You'd be taking no, a court, probably. No, thank. Oh, yeah, imagine the second one. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, going, my God, the going, second one is the trial. Yeah, going back to the fucking, they're like, 
they're all drug addicts and one's dropped off and they're like, oh, fuck you, we're not doing it anymore. And then the second movie is them in court and they lose and they have to go to yeah. prison. And it's like a really dark <laughs> yeah, and gritty. Oh my like God, Shawshank. I want to see this. I want to see this. <laughs> yeah, I want to see this series. Because then the third one is in the prison and the fourth <laughs> one's after the prison break and they're on, they're on the run and they learn the true value of like, you know, they, they've gotten through everything together and... <laughs> and they could fight anything, and they're, they're, they're like, you know, police chases, and, and they managed to escape abroad somewhere. I want to see this alternate yeah, version of yeah, yeah. the Chipmunks. Let's pitch chipmunks it go right rogue. Now. Yeah, fuck, fuck this podcast. Yeah. Like, instead, like, let's just write this and then pitch it to fucking what well, be Disney. Oh my now. god, they, they own everything, right? But, <laughs> but yeah. yeah, could Disney be like, come on, we we'll, we we know you you like your dark Disney. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah, go, classically. We'll Classic, you know, you're known for your dark, your dark uh, movies. So you'd you'd go for this, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you, Disney, yeah. Mickey? Wouldn't you? Drugs, Disney. Yeah, <laughs> you can get all the profit. We we won't we won't take you to court. We promise. Hope she wins. Hope she wins. Yeah. <laughs> Hope she wins. But anyway, yeah. Um. <laughs> I've written here, like, <laughs> I mean, before we do <laughs> bad film, good. Should we do? <laughs> I think we should say which chipmunk we would shag, marry, kill, <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll do it. What we'll do oh. is we'll we'll do it for this one, and then at the end of the second one, we'll do it again <laughs> and see if our opinions have changed. <laughs> but the second one's got to have two sets oh, of chipmunks, yeah, yeah, the female ones as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they'll be included. <laughs> see if it changes. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh no so go on uh, you go for <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm going to have to take this in. well you're pitching it go on you go first <laughs> oh I, I've already thought about it so I was uh, I, I was saying <laughs> 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 oh, going back to go back to my point that Alvin's a top shagger I would shag Alvin because he clearly <laughs> knows what he's doing. Like this guy knows this guy knows how to fuck. <laughs> so I'd shag him. I would marry Theodore because I think he'd be kind to me. You know, he'd be he'd be he'd be quite <laughs> kind. And then I kill Simon because that's the only one that's left. But we'll see. You know, the wow. the second once I see the second movie, my opinion might change. <laughs> on which child chipmunk you'd like yeah. to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So we, go I mean, on. I can agree on on marry I can I can agree on marrying Theodore. Yeah. For sure. You know, <laughs> you couldn't you couldn't you couldn't kill that bundle of No, of no there's joy. no way. But I could definitely kill Alvin. <laughs> I think that guy would just piss me yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. But well, you only have to shag him. It's like a one night stand. He could, he, he, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm killing him. <laughs> and then they'll be like, right, Simon, sorry, you drew the short straw. <laughs> Come here. You bundle of joy. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Awful. But yeah, I can't but... believe you made me do that. <laughs> We're gonna keep a note and then see you next next week if it changes. Yeah. Oh, we should do that for every film. Three, three, every three film. characters. This Jack Barry kill <laughs> Stallone, his mum, uh, and then uh, uh, the, his a cat. <laughs> Marry the cat. <laughs> what is it? A dog or a cat? I don't uh, okay. It's a dog, I think. <laughs> we should maybe do that every film. Just but we choose like. We'll choose like two, like the two main characters, or, so, or two interesting characters, and then one thing really. <laughs> <laughs> so it'll be like it'll be like Doom. It'll be like Dwayne the Rock Johnson, uh, Carl Urban, or uh, the BFG gun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the BFG. I was gonna say, well, I'd fuck the BFG. <laughs> you see that thing? That would destroy me. What a time. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's yeah, all right. Thing. Cool. You segment <laughs> Shaq Barry kill. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, <laughs> so anyway, right. Bad film, good. 
Um, I, I don't know. Nostalgia plays a small element into it. Of, of yeah, I feel. Yeah. I think if the if the chipmunks weren't so, it's bad film standard. Yeah, I think just bad film standard. It's I don't hate it, but the chipmunks' voices stop me from liking it too yeah, much. Yeah, <laughs> I, I I think bad film will write for me. Like I think if you get past the voices, it's like fine. It's a bit, the story's a bit boring. It's just a, like yeah. it's just. It's just a standard, like, uh, this person has something to learn, and then there's an evil person who's doing yeah, a bad yeah, thing morally, yeah. and you should learn the message, and then you everybody's good in the end. Yeah. And the bad guy, literally, he Ian literally goes, no, <laughs> yeah. in his car, so. Yeah. Yeah. It's bad film. Yeah. Meh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. It's, it's resurfacing. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> James Corden suddenly <laughs> comes out. Hello, hi everyone. guys. Whoa, <laughs> let's sing a song. <laughs> that's, that's too good. <laughs> oh god! Oh, right, let, god. Let, should we read right. some reviews for the film? Let's get to yeah. the next one. <laughs> yeah, let's get through it. Scab it up. Scab it up. up. Reviews. <laughs> <laughs> um so I, i've got my reviews from imdb as always you got yours from rotten tomatoes mm. i've got two uh, and yeah. not that long but i just couldn't pick between them uh, the first one is from maddock and it's in 2008 so not not that long actually they're both from 2008 so like yeah Same so just after it came so out we got a 2008 round of reviews <laughs> It's our it's our famous segment, two thousand and eight reviews. Even if it came out in twenty fifteen, it's got to be a review from yeah. two thousand eight. So this is from Madakopop, and it says, "I don't know why people has rated this animation so low. By the way, to my own opinion, this is a great animation. I am giving ten out of ten against all other votes to take this one at least zero point zero one up." The the things I see <laughs> the hero we need. <laughs> the things I see in this animation, comma, and then it's a new paragraph. Chipmunk's actions <laughs> so cute <laughs> and so impressionable. The characteristics impressionable. Of each yeah, there we go. There it is. <laughs> the the characteristics of each of the chipmunks has been created very carefully and it is consistent throughout the film the story shows us oh the real business world behind the music world <laughs> uh, oh this is yeah, the real yeah, one. yeah this is our one not not the one that we watch this is our version um the movie is very sensitive this is a very good animation effort please study this film and take your own decision uh that was nine no that was 10 out of 10 and then this other one it's 9 out of 10. This is from A. Joel 64. This is also in 2008, I've said. Uh, the title is Can't Believe This Was Good. And it says, Okay, saw it first week it came out, then saw it over the winter break. Holy crap, was it good. I mean, for a kid my oh my age... God. In brackets 15 oh, okay right i probably i probably would have said okay this movie is a kiddie movie let's go see i am legend nope <laughs> <laughs> yeah the fuck? This is, uh, in all caps with with exclamation mark <laughs> nope this movie was casted perfectly and the chipmunks are so cute only thing was jason lee do not get me wrong he was good but only thing was, is that he was not aggressive with Alvin. When I say that, I mean the typical quote, Alvin, 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 was not the best I have heard. Then again, he has only said it once, O as in the letter O, well. Great movie, love the <laughs> singing, by far beat I am legend, sorry. Let me read that again because it's all in caps. By far beat I am legend. Only in my opinion. <laughs> I'm sorry. Only in my opium. Thank you. Good night. Well, look, everybody is entitled yeah. to their own opium. 
it's it's each to their own. I yeah. mean, if if this person thought in their opium that <laughs> it, it was better than I am legend, then that's okay. It is, the last note is nine out of ten motherfuckers. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> right, no, you put that motherfuckers <laughs> on there now, I take it back. <laughs> You yeah, you should, kid. Your, your opium doesn't matter, actually, I've, ch- I've decided. <laughs> we revoke your opium privileges. <laughs> it just sounds like opium. Like, it's, yeah. It's kids just on drugs. <laughs> oh. Well, uh, what's I've your got, review? I've got one from... Uh, it's, a critic, it's another critic review because there were no audience reviews for this. <laughs> um, from David Cornelius, uh, who gave it a two out of five back in November of 2008, and he said, filled with cheap slapstick, annoying uh, high-pitched singing, and a variety of fart gags, which is true, and I enjoyed a couple of them, all <laughs> all of which amused my daughter, but not me. <laughs> well, I think that your, your daughter had a better time watching this film than you, yeah. and you should be jealous of that. You should have watched, yeah, you should have watched our version, which was for adults, rather yeah. than the kid version, which was for your daughter. They should yeah. have a like. They should have had a split screen down the middle. The one side is the, the way around. kids' version. <laughs> yeah, what one, one version is the kids' version, and the other version is the adults' version. So, like on one side of the screen, it's like them being funny eating a waffle and they've burnt it, and on the other, <laughs> on the other side, it's like Alvin injecting heroin. Yeah, I was about to say he's just shooting up. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. they like yeah. they like mimic some train just... spotting scenes. <laughs> But they're just chipmunks. It's like the, kid, the kid's just like, ha did you see that, Dad? He farted in his face. Oh, my God. <laughs> just like fucking one of them's hung themselves or something. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh. yeah. Anyway, look, we've talked about some real dumb shit about the film, but should we talk about some real-life dumb shit? Hell, yeah. So, um... <laughs> So uh, this is going back to last week, and oh. I'm not sure how aware you are of this, but uh, Stallone and Schwarzenegger had a very fierce rivalry in like the 80s. Yeah, I, I think I remember much something you about you know that. about this, yeah. I mean, it um, explains so, why in uh, Twins, he looked at that picture of Stallone <laughs> yeah, and looked at his yeah, arm and he was like, oh. he was like he's not as strong as me. You stupid man. <laughs> stupid. But yeah, li- like I didn't it didn't occur to me until like I can't remember I think it just came up um about their rivalry coincidentally after we'd watched it. Um yeah. and I, I, I sort of looked it up and it's it's weird and interesting, so I thought I'd talk tell you about it. Mm. Um because allegedly the first time they met was yeah. at the Golden Globe ceremony. Um, and Stallone had been nominated for Best Actor, while Schwarzenegger was nominated for New Star of the Year. Mm. Um, and during the ceremony, um, Stallone didn't win, but Schwarzenegger did. And every time Rocky... Because he was nominated for Rocky. So every time right. Rocky was nominated and didn't win, Schwarzenegger was making fun of him, allegedly... Being like, yeah. Ha, ha, yeah. you stupid man. <laughs> you, you didn't win. Ha, but I won. And Stallone's Bet like, you wish you win that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, God, that's really mean. Uh, I didn't. I wanted to win, but I didn't win. <laughs> hey, Mom, and, <laughs> can you tell him to stop bullying me? <laughs> yeah. And, um. <laughs> the and, daddy die is there with him. <laughs> yeah. Oh! You leave my little son alone. <laughs> oh, Danny die. I thought. Shit, are you? Like, yeah, <laughs> but it said Danny to because he's the grandpa. Well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, no. Danny. <laughs> but he's on Schwartz. Anyway, so carry fine. On. Yeah. Anyway, um, so <laughs> yeah. App- allegedly, um, Stallone threw a bowl of flowers at Schwarzenegger for making fun of him, and that's kind of like what the hell? Where <laughs> that's kind of like where the where the rivalry started. It, apparently, in an interview. Uh, some years later, that's what Arnold said. He was like, from that moment, even our DNA hated each other. And then, yeah, it goes on to talk about, like, in their films, they started making fun of each other. So, like you said, um, yeah. there's a there's a Rambo poster in Twins, and Schwarzenegger, like, puts his muscles up to it. And he's like, ha, ah, puny, stupid man. And then in a movie yeah. um, called Tango and Cash... 
um, Stallone beats up a man who looks very similar to Arnold Schwarzenegger. So he's just like yeah, literally huh. just beating the shit out of him. Like, yeah, fuck you. Yeah, you make fun of my poster. I fuck you up. You know? He just looks at the camera and he's like, those for you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, uh, and, and allegedly, uh, Stallone later admitted that he imagined Schwarzenegger while shooting that scene. So he was literally like, Fuck Oh my you. God. I hate you. Uh, and apparently, Schwarzenegger was really mad at one point because Stallone had gotten really ripped for, uh, I think it might have been uh, Rambo 2 or something. And Schwarzenegger was like, mm. The. That's my territory. Get out. So he got even more ripped and l- lost loads of body fat. Jesus. Shit. And, and then um, this is where it all comes back full circle. So in an interview with Jimmy Fallon, not that long ago, St- yeah, Stallone had like said that um, Schwarzenegger had actually tricked him to do a terrible movie. And that terrible movie was stop or my, oh. sh- or my mum will shoot. And then Schwarzenegger no later admitted, uh, again, to Jimmy Kimmel, um, to that he, he had done that. I, I've got the quote here, and of course I'll read it in his voice. Uh, yeah. And, and, and <laughs> Schwarzenegger said, I read the script and it was a piece of shit. Let's be honest. I said to myself, <laughs> I'm not going to do this movie. But then they went to Sly, and Sly called me, and uh, Sly is still alone, by the way. And Sly called me and right. asked, have they ever talked to you about doing this movie? And I said, yeah, I was thinking about doing it, actually. This is a really brilliant idea, this movie. And when he heard this, because he was in competition, he said, whatever it takes, I'll do the movie. And of course, <laughs> the movie went to the major toilet. <laughs> so... Literally <laughs> went to the Schwar- major toilet. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Uh, Schwarzenegger was like, "This film sucks, but I think you should do it. It's going to be really good." And then just completely fucked him over, which is hilarious. He just reverse psychology him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah great. I was like, "Oh my god, that's amazing!" I was kind of annoyed that I didn't find that when we did the film, but it was just so interesting yeah but no but it's good to like to reflect back on it yeah, you know yeah, afterwards yeah yeah, I was yeah like, oh my that's God, cool that's hilarious um but yeah oh that's brilliant th- that's that's about i'm everything. glad that we got stallone in that film though rather than uh that's why he just seemed like he didn't care half the film because he knew it was <laughs> shit. yeah it was like this sucks i can't believe he wanted to do this um uh, but uh, yeah, that's about everything that we've got for this week. Next week, as we said, we're going to be doing Alvin the Chipmunks, the Squeakquel, part four, five, and six, seven, eight, and nine. <laughs> and I'll yeah, watch that, all the films prep and prep in prep. Yeah, for make it. sure you make sure you uh, make notes on every. And we're also going to do the cartoon in the same episode. So make sure you watch oh, all perfect. the old episodes. Yeah, I'll, I'll spend I'll spend all my time and do that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, please. I'll get started and, now. And I will also do that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, I shall do this. <laughs> yes. But if you did want to watch that, that's also on Amazon Prime. They're all on Amazon Prime. So if you want to also watch all of the films like we are doing back to back, then you can do that on Amazon Prime. Uh, if you want to cu- keep up to the date, up to the date with the show. <laughs> Uh, then we're on Instagram and Twitter at Bound Film Good or One Word. Uh, we po- put up posts and little clips of the episodes, so you can give those a follow there. Mm. Um, if you want to get into touch with us, uh, maybe send your own stories, then you can send us an email at, at no bad film good. You just do email it. Do it every time. Com. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Or just, you know, pop us a... Don't be afraid to just pop us a message on Instagram or, or on Twitter or anything, you know. Yeah, do whatever. Do it. Send us a letter. Yeah. Send us just an Just do owl. anything. Anything at all. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, was about to, I was about to joke about finding where we live and come and see us, but don't do that. Yeah, yeah. Please don't. I do enough to do... Find out where Aiden lives. <laughs> no, no, no. Find out go, where Dees Go lives. see him. <laughs> yeah, no. So find out where Declan lives. And find, bang on his window. That's what I do at night. I'm like, bang, 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 bang. <laughs> hey. I wonder what that was. <laughs> I never opened the windows just in case. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. Have you watched, have you watched yeah. the third one yet? Make sure you watch it. <laughs> yeah. 
bang, bang. Make sure you watch both episodes yeah, one and yeah. two for, yeah. for this one. Both films. <laughs> bang, 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 bang. All right, I'm going now. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> um, it always sounds like Aiden, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you want to support the show, give us a five star review or tell a friend. That would be a really good thing to do. Um, mm, go and bang on a friend's window. Yeah, bang on a friend's window and be like, "Hey, have you listened? Have you listened to this podcast? It's really good." <laughs> bang, bang, bang. Um, <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, that's just about everything. Uh, but as always, we're going to leave you with an inspirational quote from Inspirobot, which is a randomly generated mm. sentence slapped over a randomly generated image. Uh, have you got one? Do you want me to go first? What's the? Yeah, I've got I've got an situation? interesting one. Um, the kind yeah. of kind of links up a bit. So um, you've got a kind of POV shot. Uh, looks like you're you're probably. Uh, like a school kid, you're you kind of in you're in high school, uh, secondary school, depending on you know where you are, where you're living. Yeah. And um, and you're looking down at the ground. You've got the lines of of a basketball court. There's a basketball kind of half in the corner there. Uh, you can see the edges of two little shoes all kind of blurry because the focus is on the center screen with uh, a wrist up looking at a watch. So you're checking the time. And then the text above says. You are about to turn into a crazy boy in a good way. <laughs> oh, okay. In a good way. Okay, cool. Wholesome. <laughs> nice. I'm excited. Uh, well, mine is... It's that time. Yeah, yeah finally. Um, mine is just a woman... I, I think she's staring out of a prison cell or something. There's like bars in front of her face and she's looking out into the distance with the sun like blazing in the background. Um, and the text says, Newsflash! Being in a coma is fun for a while, but just for a while. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Damn, yeah. it's pirate. Yeah. <laughs> Newsflash! <laughs> it's fun for a while. <laughs> but only for a while. But only a while. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Uh, All right. Brilliant. Well, yeah, we'll see you next week for another chipmunking. Another three episodes. Another three episodes <laughs> of these films. Yeah. I keep calling them episodes instead of films. Yeah, <laughs> films four. It's like the Harry Potter series, you know. Episode four, films four, five, and six. Yeah, what what, what we're doing is um, we're we're doing the the next three chipmunks and then the entire Harry Potter series all in one episode. So Dees, make sure you yeah. um make sure and you theorizing make notes. theorizing what would happen if the chipmunks were to Hogwarts. Yeah. So uh yeah. stay tuned for yeah, that one. Make because sure, it's really important. Diggs, make sure you watch all those films and make notes about them. Yeah, I'll um I'll, let me note it down. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, yeah, cool. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well we'll see you then. Yeah, see you then for that bumper episode. All right. Bye! Bye!